Hey everyone, I'm Raven Maureen and today I want to share with you my Atlas wrap dress. So I recently made the Atlas wrap dress by Sewing Mason and oddly enough I made another one of her dresses earlier this week as well. So that was a total coincidence but it actually came in handy for this project. Um, so let me get into what the Atlas wrap dress is. It is a true wrap dress and it came out I believe like in May sometime in the spring or summer of last year and I loved it as soon as I saw it and um, because at the time I was getting married and whatnot I had my eye on it but I couldn't really focus on it so at the top of February I had it on my list of things to make for the month of February and lo and behold I was able to push it out so I actually made this dress in one setting which I don't recommend doing I just think I was really excited about this dress and I just was like wanting to push it out um, but let's talk about some things that I love about this dress. So, um, going back to what I said earlier, it is a true wrap dress. So, a, like inside tie and then it has like a real tie. Um, the other thing I love is that there's bodice pieces and then there's skirt pieces. So it's not like, like some wrap dresses can have like a whole piece for like the front and then the back or whatever. And I like that these are separate. And I also like too, when I was making the skirt, I was like... This skirt is kind of cute by itself, but anyway. <laughs> um, so when I was wearing this dress, I'll be very honest with you, I felt like work bay. Like I didn't wear it to work because obviously I work from home, but I honestly was like, if I went to the office, I would be wearing the Atlas wrap dress probably every week. Um, my only regret with this dress is that I didn't do like a full bust adjustment and I'm not, how can I say this I don't have a lot of experience with full bust adjustments and I know that's probably really weird to hear that a girl with my size bust doesn't have that experience but um, a lot of the patterns that I use I typically will use something that is like designed for a C or a D cup or there's enough fabric and ease for for there to not be any sort of issues with my bust and this was an instance where I felt like wow like there's a real issue here so my only like I think negative comment about this dress is that there wasn't enough for someone who's a larger bust size so for that you probably do have to do a full bust adjustment on this dress if you were to make it and if I were to make it again I would probably put my heart and soul into really figuring out how to do a full bust adjustment that way I can feel my most confident self in making this dress I'm gonna get into some things um, that were um, that made this dress different. So one, I did use a, a fabric from my stash, so I'm super excited that I got to do that. It was four yards of this striped rayon chili, and um, I used every single bit of the four yards of the rayon chili in the stripe, but I believe that was because it was directional. Like, y'all, I was using the selvage edges, like, and it was 60 inches. Um, so I did use quite a bit of fabric, but I had just enough for this project. And then the other thing is, is that I decided to make view A without the pocket. So I did not do the bishop sleeves. Um, I kind of gotten over the bishop sleeve thing after I had made uh, the patina blouse last week. <laughs> so I just decided, you know what? Enough of the bishop sleeve. I'm just gonna do a regular sleeve this week. And so I did a regular sleeve. I actually left the buttons off of the cuff, which um, I didn't realize was like a controversial thing. I just didn't feel like it needed buttons, to be honest with you. I thought it was like jazzy enough without it. I thought adding buttons to the stripes would just be like a little too much for me. So I left them off um, and they're not impacting the cuff or anything. Like no cuffs were harmed because I, you know, decided to leave buttons off. The other thing was is that um, the sizing. So remember earlier I said I had cut the Sicily dress earlier this week, which worked in my favor because it's made by the same pattern designer. So I knew from the Sicily dress that I would most likely have to cut size E as an elephant. Well, in reading the pattern instructions for the Atlas wrap dress, it specifically said this dress has a lot of E's. I suggest that you pare down to size D as in dog. Well, I went ahead and I did that. And yes, there was definitely enough ease 
for me to wrap myself in size D. And yes, I could get, you know, the bust area into the dress, wrap it up and things, but I felt like I didn't have as much coverage. So the sizing was good, but then again, it goes back to that fold bust adjustment that I should have done. So the other thing is, is that, um, I'll just pull the dress over here. So I have the dress here and the facing for this part is literally folded in. It's one whole piece for the front bodice. So one thing I will say was that when I was trying it on, the facing kept coming out, like it kept like pushing itself out. So I actually used some hem tape for this part and um, I just ironed it and no one knows any wiser that there's hem tape in here. <laughs> but I also felt like one, the pattern didn't call for you to like top stitch that area. I wasn't going to. I feel like it would kind of ruin the aesthetic. But also, um, I kind of felt like if I didn't do it, then it would just keep puckering. And if I tried to hand sew it, you would just see that because this is Rayon Chalice. So my only option was to get some hem tape. Okay, so the other thing is, is that I did go ahead because this is like the bodice piece and you can see it's, it connects right here. Um, before I cut out my fabric, I actually measured the bodice pattern piece and the skirt pattern piece because I thought that I was gonna have to take all of those up. As it turns out, I didn't have to. I didn't have to adjust a thing. I did a very, very like narrow hem stitch on the skirt and I was like, oh, this is an actual mini skirt. Like I didn't have to make this a mini skirt because a lot of times with patterns, like the mini skirt will fall at my knees and that never looks cute. So um, I was really, really excited to see that it was a true mini skirt. It was above the knee and it was super sexy and super cute. Um, so would I make this pattern again? Absolutely. I even, um, rolled it back up and put a rubber band around it because I'm gonna make that pattern again. Like it is super cute. But my only thing is, is that I am definitely going to have to do a full bust adjustment on it next time. Um, that way I just have a little bit more coverage here and that way I can wear it out comfortably. Um, but other than that, this is a really great pattern if you haven't purchased it yet. Um, I say go ahead and do so and sew it up. I did see that it was on a lot of people's list for spring and I think all of you are on the right track. <laughs> I'm going to say that you all are on the right track for that because it is a gorgeous dress and you definitely do feel like super feminine, like just all the things. So anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that bell. Um, I've got a lot of great things coming up this week, so I'll see y'all soon. Bye!